What's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back in the car for another In the Vehicle Impromptu video. And today I want to encourage all of y'all out there who are freedom-minded patriots, who love the Constitution, who love what this country is supposed to be, who love your fellow man and woman, to start a YouTube channel or to be present on social media in some way, shape, or form. I honestly, truly do think that YouTube is the best as far as getting the message out there, um, social media platform. Uh, even though we are restricted and demonetized and shadow banned and this, that, and the third, it's still a, a productive way to get the message out. And don't go into it thinking you're going to make any money. That's definitely a possibility. But you shouldn't be doing it for the wrong reasons. When I started this channel six years ago, I never thought I would ever get to the point where I'm at now. And where I'm at right now is, is a drop in the bucket. It's somebody pissing in the ocean. I, I'm minuscule. I, I'm a tiny little channel out of millions of channels that have millions of, of subscribers. But I still right now only, you know, I'm, I'm close to having 10,000 subscribers. And it's all thanks to you guys liking the videos, participating, commenting on the videos, sharing the videos, whatever it is. And if you could keep that up, it would be much appreciated. But think about it. Almost 10,000 people. That's still a lot of people. That, that's still a lot of people that can hear a message. Even if it's one person that you change their mind or get them, not even change their mind yet, but get them to start critically thinking for themselves instead of just obeying media or government or, you know, their bias because of what party they align with or whatever it is. I don't align with a party. I'm a constitutionalist. I am for complete and total freedom, no matter what side of the aisle that falls on. And that will never change. You can't, you can't put a label on on freedom. You can't, oh, is it, is it an elephant? Is it a donkey? No. It's morality. It's common law. It's complete and total freedom. And with complete and total freedom, there is danger involved. There is risk involved. But that is what you get when you are a completely free man or woman. And I will take that any day over safe or secure slavery. And I think a lot of you guys out there feel exactly the same. Because we're so shadow banned and demonetized and restricted and taken down and deleted and all this other stuff, our numbers are diminished. Our voices aren't heard as loudly as they possibly can be. Which is why I'm encouraging all of you guys to not be afraid to not be afraid of being put on some kind of list because in today's day and age, if you're not on a government watch list, you're doing something wrong in my opinion because they're afraid of patriots because patriots are the enemy of the evil state. You can't be afraid. You can't be afraid or fearful of what people are going to uh, say or think about you. I got plenty of trolls. I got plenty of haters. I got people that literally the second I upload a video are waiting to dislike it or to leave a nasty comment or whatever it is. And it makes me feel good because it makes me realize how pathetic of a person that they actually are that that is what their life consists of. I'm living inside of their head rent free and hopefully, hopefully eventually it will get them to start to think. Maybe they'll wake up a little bit. And again, I'm not glorifying myself or, or saying that I'm right about everything or that I'm the end all be all or that I know everything. But what I do know is freedom and what it looks like. And this country right now does not look free. And we need all the patriots and all the people that we can get together to fight back. So I would very much so encourage you guys, start a YouTube channel. And it doesn't even have to be a gun channel or a knife channel or a gear channel or a politics channel. But if you have a platform to express your values, to help the fight. I think it would behoove you to do so. We need all the help we can get. We have the numbers, but their voices aren't heard. 
because most of the time their voices are silenced. Let's make it so we have so many numbers that are present, so many voices speaking out loudly, that it's impossible to ignore. That's what I want to see. I'm sick of all these gun channels, all these gun channels that are, are, are pro-freedom, pro-Second Amendment, but, or they're, they're literally making X amount of dollars living off of their YouTube gun channel and all their sponsorships and all that, and, which is fine. I'm all for capitalism. I'm all for people making a living. I make a little bit of money off this myself. I never break even, nor have I, nor probably will I. Uh, as far as the money and the time and effort that goes into it. Yeah, I get sent some free stuff to review and I get to keep it, you know, stuff like that. And I'm grateful for all of it. But that's not why I do this. And uh, these other gun channels that are supposedly freedom fighters and, and, and so pro-Second Amendment, but they never speak about it. I'm not going to necessarily call anyone out in this video, but you guys know who they are. And if not, you could come to a realization if you sat back and think about it for a few minutes. All these people that that are making a living off of the Second Amendment, but don't do anything to help fight for it or protect it. It's the same thing. It's, it's why I get so perturbed with all the, the, the sheeple that are running out to buy the next friggin' socialist armory gun, which is subpar to begin with. Or, or, or Daniel Defense, who literally was in favor of, of the fixed Nix bill, which would have made you had to go see a shrink before you could buy a gun. But he's making millions of dollars off of selling AR-15s. It's just counterintuitive, people. It's not right. And I don't want to support those kinds of people that don't support me or my rights or my freedoms or this country. And if you're a patriot, if you truly believe in freedom, if you truly believe in rights then you would think the same, wouldn't you? I would like to think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But all these big gun channels that are have such a huge sphere of influence and can literally change the course of history by being able to motivate and activate enough people to stand up against the tyranny and fight for their rights, whether it be their First Amendment, their Second Amendment, their Fifth Amendment, their Fourth or whatever it is, the entire you know Bill of Rights in general, this country, whatever it is, whatever the issue is, you have so much power and ability to motivate so many people because a lot of these people, just like with anything else, blindly follow their leaders. And, 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 and do not think critically enough for themselves and just whatever they say goes. We see this with Trump. We see this with the government. We see this with media. We saw it. Well, I will, I guess I will call someone out. Hickok 45. Oh, let's not, the whole time, bear in mind you, he's making buku bucks off NRA memberships. Oh, let's not chastise the NRA. We got to pick our battles. Let's not fall on our swords over bump stocks. Red flag laws. I got nothing to hide. I'm a good guy. I don't got to worry about it. And how many millions of subscribers does Hickok45 have? So that could be potentially every single one of his subscribers that doesn't go out, doesn't call, doesn't write, doesn't protest, doesn't stand up, doesn't fight back, doesn't vote, because Hickok said it wasn't a problem. We don't got to worry about it. Any infringement, all infringement, big or small, we need to fight back against, okay? Okay. Now, on, a, on the positive side of things, Mr. Guns and Gear. Mr. Guns and Gear, great dude. Um, quality information, quality production value, knows what he's talking about. Always has the latest and greatest stuff because he's working with these companies. Yes, he's making money. He deserves it. He's putting in hard work and effort, okay? He's not shilling for anyone that I'm aware of. He's honest in reviews. If something's good, he says it's good. If something's bad, he says it's bad and anywhere in between. He also says when people send him stuff, you know, or, or his sponsors or whatever. So he's not hiding anything from you. He's giving you quality, real, factual information from his own testing and experience. And that's what we need. And at the same time while doing that, providing the entertainment, providing the, the, the media for, for the newest, latest, greatest Master Blaster 5000 that you're looking to pick up, but you want to make sure before you buy it, not only is he doing those things... He's also posting videos of tyrannical cops and, and messed up uh, 
laws and, and, and bills that are trying to get passed and tyrannical judges and all this kind of stuff. And he's, he's, he's sneaking it in there to get you people thinking because you're there to watch the new Glock Gen 17 video of, of oh, well, we took away the finger grooves 17 times now, and but this time they're back and now we got a, a different finish on the slide and the trigger is still six and a half pounds, but uh, it's different. So, you know, it, you're, you're there for that. But hopefully he gets you with with the truth and the quality information of the tyranny that's taking place in this country. Because he is a patriot. He has fought for this country. And you don't have to fight for this country as a military service member to be a patriot either. But he has. And he is. And he's putting that information out. He's showing the videos of the tyranny. He's showing the videos of the jackbooted thugs infringing on people's rights. He's being controversial. In fact, he makes posts all the time about it, uh, you know, with people trying to call him out or shit on him because they're all thin blue line. Uh, they're cucks. They're sheep. They're being good little citizens like the government wants them to be. And so he, for telling the truth and for being in, in favor over freedom over anything, which is how it should be in America, he's the bad guy, right? He's the bad guy. I don't think so. So that's why I'm encouraging all you guys to get out and have your voices heard. Start a YouTube channel. Get on Instagram. Get on Facebook. Whatever it is. Twitter. I don't care. Uh, I, again, I think YouTube is the best platform to do it because like I'm doing right now, you can actually speak to the audience. You can put a face to a name. You can do real shit. Okay? And down the line, for your hard work and effort, you do, at least as of now, have the potential to earn an income. Now, it might not be a sustainable income that you can live off of because, trust me, I get paid once a month from YouTube and it's it's less than what I make in one week at work, okay? So, that's just how it goes. But it's still something. It helps. It's more money towards more ammo, more accessories, more mags, uh, more stuff for the channel, you know, another gun, you know, because all the stuff that I'm buying anyway is going right back into the channel. So, it helps to fund itself. But the money aside, that's that's not even about this. But I know a lot of people are concerned about it. Oh, I don't want to waste the time. It's not going to be beneficial. What's beneficial is your voice being heard. With you standing up and fighting back. That is the most important and beneficial part of all of this. That being said, guys, uh, I got to go. I'm pulling up to the spot right now. I got to do some business. But uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Click those first three links in the description box below because those will take you to places that will help you directly fight for your God-given inalienable rights. And then if you do support what I do here and you want to help me out financially, shop with any of the links in the description box below and you can do just that. But forget all that stuff, guys. Most importantly, I want you guys to stand up and fight for your rights. I want you guys to, to have your voices heard. And, and literally, while everybody's being afraid in their basement from the Cervasa virus right now, or just in general, you can have a voice and your voice can be heard. And again, whether you got one subscriber or a million subscribers or anywhere in between, if you change one person's mind and convert them to just think logically for themselves... They have no other option but to be on our side. So that being said, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.